Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Free Fly event for Star Citizen. I'm Lethex, and I'm doing something a little bit different here than my standard cinematic videos that I usually make. And I want to make an instructional video for any new players out there trying to get into this free event to try out Star Citizen. We're going to make this real quick and straightforward, so let's get to the instructions. First things first, you're going to need to sign up. So I got two links ready for you guys in the description of the video below. All you're going to have to do is scroll down, click on Show More, and then click on these two links. Let's start off with the first one, signing up. Click on this link here to sign up. This is pretty straightforward. Make your account here. And again, make sure that uh, referral code is in there if you guys want to get some bonus stuff. It helps me out too. Click enlist, and now you've got an account. Once you've signed up, head on over back to the description and get this second link here under the free fly event text. You're going to find yourself on the free fly event page. Feel free to scroll through this and read everything you want about the ships that you'll be able to use during this free fly. If you just want to get straight into it, scroll all the way down to this spot where it says free fly code. You're going to click on that to copy it to your clipboard and scroll on down. As long as you're signed in, you should see this page here. If you don't see your account signed in, well, sign in. There's likely a place for you to do it right here or just scroll up and sign in here under account. But once you are signed in, you can see here that your account is confirming that. Just go ahead and paste that code right into here and click apply coupon. You'll see another step show up here where you're ready to go. The next step is to click this link that they tell you to click. Now that you're back to this page, click play now. Make sure everything here is all good to go and download the installer. Of course, I already have the installer, so I'm going to skip this step. Once you guys have that installed, you'll see something like this. This is a Star Citizen launcher. Now from here, you're going to have to download the game. Reminder, it is big and try to make sure it's downloading onto your SSD, not elsewhere. You can find out where it's going by clicking settings and checking your library folder right here. If you need to change that, just click change and put it wherever you need to put it. While you're on the screen, I'd also recommend checkboxing this quit launcher when Windows closed so that when you close this, the launcher actually closes. You don't have to go into Task Manager. Now that you have the game downloaded, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to get into those ships because Star Citizen doesn't hold your hand. It can be a little overwhelming when you first jump in here, but if you'd like to join a, a crew that can help you through all those things, we got a Discord link down in the video below. You can join us and play the game with us as well. But if you'd like to go solo, click Launch Game. Now that you're loaded in, you're going to see three buttons at the side here, Arena Commander, Star Marine, and Persistent Universe. You can play Star Marine and Arena Commander if you want. Those are space and on foot battles, but Persistent Universe is where we're going to be experiencing this free fly. Once you click on that, you're going to find yourself at a window like this, or the game may tell you to create a character. Now the game does reset stuff here and there because it isn't an alpha. I just skip through that whole thing and click accept right away. I don't put too much time into the character because, oh, again, as I said, sometimes it does reset itself. So you can skip that if you want or take the time right now to make your character. Once you're past that, you're going to see this screen here. You're going to click on this drop down and you might actually see a few options and not see the Stanton system option. Once you log in for the first time, it will show Stanton system and you will rejoin wherever you last logged off, whatever station you were last at. You guys should see a few options here though, like New Babbage, Hurston, or Area 18. Just to get you to your ship as quick as possible, I highly recommend that you go to New Babbage. So once you have New Babbage selected, go down here to visit location and give it about, you know, an hour to load in. Your first time is definitely gonna have low frame rates and it'll be a long loading for the first time. I don't know what it is, it just feels like the computer's need some time to warm up to the game but trust me performance gets better and better as it goes once we make it past this screen there's no loading screens from here on out so i'm just gonna cut to when we're waking up in our bed all right now that you've woken up in your bed i'm gonna show you guys how to get your ships and get flying but there are a few things i need to tell you first now this isn't going to be a full tutorial for new players here but there are a couple steps that are crucial to just getting around in the verse if you guys would like to see a full tutorial for players and all the little tips and tricks that you can do to make this game more enjoyable and why I really love the game as well, leave a comment down below. And if I get enough people saying, hey, I'd like a tutorial for new players, then I'll absolutely make one. I'll hop on and get that pumped out as fast as possible. But otherwise, I'm just gonna show you the things that you need. I'm gonna leave this relatively unedited here because I wanna make sure you guys can just follow along the video and know exactly where to go and what to do. First things first, the F key. This is your interact key. If you're playing on keyboard and mouse, you're going to be using this a lot. Holding down the F key lets you interact with the world around you. 
Now, when you look at things, you'll see text appear. You can use your left click to click those and do those things. First steps first, get out of your bed. Then you're gonna use the standard WASDA to move around. I think you guys should be familiar with that. If you'd like to jump, spacebar. If you'd like to crouch, you can press control. Beyond that, feel free to look around. Another cool thing with your interact key, that's F, if you hold it down and use your scroll wheel, you'll be able to zoom in and see how detailed this world really is. Again, if you'd like to interact with things, hold that F key and just look for those text options that pop up. But you guys are here to fly some ships, so let's get you down there. Follow me out your door, use your F key again on the door to get out into the hall. Feel free to take a look at the city and the spaceport over there. That's where we need to go. We're gonna take a tram to get over there. So head over to your right or left if you spawn on that side there, and you're gonna find an elevator down in the middle section here. Much like real life, you're gonna have to call that elevator and wait for it to come. Now the elevator's here, hop on in there and you're gonna go down to the lobby floor. You can use your scroll wheel to scroll along the options here, but you're notice you're gonna zoom in and out. So middle click and it'll lock on the screen so scrolling doesn't do anything. Nice little uh, quality of life trick there. Click lobby and head on down there. This will be a good time while we're waiting for the elevator to go down to tell you guys if you liked the video and if it helped you out, please click like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I love making these videos, but that really helps with the interaction with the video. If not, you don't have to. I'm not your dad. Head on out the elevator and find yourself in the lobby here and try to count how many NPCs are standing on chairs. Oh, we don't have any today. Now this game does not hold your hand. So you're gonna wanna look around for signs anytime you wanna do anything uh, because there aren't waypoints guiding your way everywhere. This is a big universe and they couldn't possibly have little waypoints and pathways telling you what to do. So we're looking for the Metro Loop because we need to get to the spaceport. So head on down the stairs here and hop on a tram. We're gonna be taking the one to the left. You can see that says spaceport. So we're gonna go over to the one on the left. And much like real life, again, you may have to wait for that tram to show up. Mine's not too long, so I'm just gonna cut to me getting in. Now that your tram is here, hop on in. If you'd like to take a seat, you can. Actually, wait a second. No, they don't let you sit in these ones yet. This is the newest newest area they've added to, uh, to Star Citizen. So ride your train, take a look out the window, and enjoy the views. Now, another thing you can do if you'd like to see your character is pressing F4 will give you a third person perspective. Now, while you're on foot, you actually have two third person perspectives that you can use to look around. It's a good time to tell you guys using your Z key or Z, depending on where you're from, you can use that to free look around. Just remember that wherever you let go of it is where it locks. So it can get disorienting if you don't reposition your camera back to the front. Press F4 again to get yourself in first person mode. All right, now that your long train ride has come to a finish, hop on out and go to your left. This is another good time to tell you guys that using your scroll wheel will change your walk speed so you can slow yourself down or speed yourself up. Shift to run. Call yourself an elevator. Hop in the elevator and get yourself up to the NBIS terminal, New Mabbage International Space Station. You might have to double click it. Sometimes I find with these uh, buttons, much like a, a real elevator, just start smashing, start smashing it. Like you smash that like button. Hop on out your elevator and go over to the right. You're just gonna follow the tunnels here. Enjoy the scenery. Again, use that F key if you wanna Zoom in, get some details, and see really how detailed this world is. Otherwise, keep heading through the security area. And I'm gonna run because I know all of you guys are gonna be running, just gamer things. Head on up the stairs, enjoy the view out this large window here, if you'd like. And then turn around to the left. You're gonna go into this room with elevators here, where it says hangars. And this is where you get to get your ships. Walk on up to one of these terminals, use your interact key, that's F, and then click on the screen 
And now you should see all of your ships listed. Of course, yours will look a little different than mine, as I have a few extra ships after playing this game for a while. But you should see a couple of your ships that you've gotten from the free fly here. If you don't see them, you may have to go back to robertspaceindustries.com, check your hangar, and make sure that that free fly has been activated. If not, go to the description below again, click the free fly link, and make sure that it says your account is activated. You can close the game, reopen the game, and they should appear. Follow these instructions again, and you should be good to go. You'll see a little bit of info about your ship. The important thing you want, though, is retrieve. This is how you get your ship. Now we're gonna take a ship out here. We'll use one of the ones that's in the free fly, the Anvil Arrow. That's a nice little fighter for you guys to try out. If you'd like to try out some mining, according to the website, the Prospector is one of those free fly ships. You can click retrieve on that and try some mining out. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I just wanna get you guys flying. So let's pull out the Anvil Arrow. You have to wait a few seconds. They're gonna put a ship on a uh, in a hangar and you're gonna watch this screen. Remember what hangar it's in. Mine's it. Mine's in hangar four. It barely showed it to me there. If you do lose it, you can just look over at this little pop-up that shows up and you can see hangar four over there. So that way you're not gonna forget. So I'm gonna to head to an elevator. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Wait for it again. Hop on in and go to hangar four. Hop on out and then again, enjoy the large hangar and the scale of this game. You're gonna see your ship beautifully postured right in the center here. Take some time to walk around and enjoy it. Again, enjoy the intricacies. You can see all your missile bays, your weapons that you have on the side of your ship. And just take it all in. Let's get you in your ship though. You're gonna look for this little dot that says ladder. And again, you're going to hold your F, your interact key. You're going to find the spot that says enter pilot seat and click that and your character will load themselves in there. You guys are almost ready to fly. There's a few other critical things I just need to teach you in this basic tutorial. First off, press F4 if you want to take a look around at your ship. Use that free look key and take a look at your surroundings. Press F4 to get back into your cockpit into first person. And there's a few systems you need to power up. I could tell you individually how to do that, but if you'd really like to find out all the individual buttons, just click Escape, go to Options, and click Key Bindings. You'll be able to see all the different key bindings here, whether you're in flight or on foot, and for the different control schemes. Press Escape to get out of that, head back. There's a quick way to boot up all your systems, and that's pressing R. That's your flight ready. All your systems will boot up, powers, weapons, and engines, and now you're almost ready to fly. A quick, basic, Control tutorial. WASDA is your strafes forward and sideways, as you'd expect. Q and E is your roll. Spacebar is to strafe upwards. Control is to strafe downwards. X is your space break, and Shift is your afterburners. You won't really need those right now, though. The next very important thing to remember is this little white bar here. Use your scroll wheel to move that up and down. That's your speed limiter. This is very crucial when you're flying in very tight spaces. You're going to want this down a lot lower. That red line there just says anything past that, your ship's going to be harder to control and harder to maneuver. So if you need to slow down quick or maneuver really tightly, keep that close and barely over if you want that red line there. As you get used to your ship, you'll be able to adjust where you can really put that comfortably, depending on what you're doing with your ship. Again, if you'd like to take a look around, you can hold your free look key to look at your cockpit and see how detailed it is. Or again, if you'd like to hold F and you can look around and zoom in. The coolest thing about this game is they try to keep you out of menus as much as possible by making the world interactive. Holding your F key will allow you to use your screens. And we're actually gonna use one right now. To take off, we need to get this door out of the way. So you're gonna hold F, look at any of these screens, it doesn't matter which one, and click menu in the top there. Remember, middle click to lock it if you don't want it scrolling in and out. Click menu, you might have to click it a few times, like the elevators. Click comms, and you may have a bug here where it just doesn't work. This definitely does happen. There, it worked a second time. So you're gonna click this little Wi-Fi symbol to call the New Babbage International Spaceport. That will open the hangars and let you fly out. Now, if you do have the issue where this screen just isn't working for you, there is another way to do it. You're gonna open your Moby Glass. Now, if I were to do a full tutorial, I'd walk through the Moby Glass because you use this a lot. But for now, we're just gonna go to the app at the bottom here called Comlink. Click that Comlink and go over to Friends. You're gonna see the New Babbage International Spaceport here. You can click that Wi-Fi symbol and it'll open the gate in front of you. Press F1 to close your Moby Glass again, and it should be opening. Now, I like to do it the cool way, so I'm gonna use the screen and call it open here. 
while that's opening, I do want to remind you, this is an alpha and sometimes there are bugs. One of the bugs you may experience is when you get in your cockpit, your character just looks way over to the side like this and you don't know why. Sometimes your free look key gets stuck. So if you just tap your free look key or tap the F key, it should recenter your screen for you. Now that that's open, make sure your speed limiter is at a spot where you can control your ship comfortably. Again, I recommend putting that speed limiter down low. Press your space bar to lift off a bit and then press W to fly on out of the hangar. And now you're flying in the verse. Remember, there's no loading screens from here on out. You can fly to other planets, uh, all the way to other space stations, anywhere on this planet that you'd like to without loading screens, just go there. One more quick little tutorial here for the ship. Pressing C will enter into cruise control. You'll see a little arrow up here, meaning that you're in con cruise control. You can just use your scroll wheel to choose where your speed goes to from now on out. So it's a little bit of hands-off flying. Make sure to press N to pull your landing gear up, and now you'll fly better. There is atmosphere, there is wind, and that will affect your flying. The shape of your ship affects it. In space, obviously it won't because there's no wind. So get used to the fact that flying in space or in an atmosphere is different. But you guys are there, you're in your ship. Have fun flying around. Say you're like, oh, okay, cool, this is great, but I, I wanna try another ship. I'm gonna turn cruise control off, and then I'm gonna fly manually back to the spaceport here. Once you're close enough, again, hold your F key, Look at your screen or pull up your comm link with F1 and call back to the new Babbage International Spaceport. This will ask for a landing spot and a little marker should appear showing you where to land. Ah, there it is. This little marker here. If you're in third person, you're not going to see that marker. So make sure in first person to be able to see that. Now remember your speed limiter once you get in close. You're going to want to make small movements once you get in tight here. So bring that speed limiter way down. And don't forget to put your landing gear down with N. Confirm your landing gear is down. You can also take a look at this little dot right here. That'll tell you if your landing gear is down. One thing you can do once you're in this little glowing box here, if you don't want to land yourself, you can hold N. This will activate your auto land and just land it for you. Once you're on the ground, you can press U to shut down all of your systems. It does the opposite of your R button, the flight ready. And then hold Y to get out of your seat. Now all you guys have to do is head on over to the elevators, head back up to the terminal, store your ship, and call the next one if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. Now that you're up the elevator and at the terminal, head on over. Look for the ship you just pulled out. That would be your anvil arrow. And you'll see a store button. Click on that. Just wait a few seconds. Sometimes it doesn't go right away. Eventually you'll see retrieve. That means your ship's put away and you're good to call it another one. Well guys, there's not much more to say besides enjoy. Head up out to, to space. Uh, and just a, a quick reminder to use B to do your quantum spooling. And that'll allow you to jump to different points in the verse once you are in space. But if you would like to see a full tutorial, there's some things here that you're missing or confused about, please ask the question down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help out. I love seeing new people get into this and I really hope that your adventure into this free fly in the verse with Star Citizen is as bug free as possible, smooth and uh, you get good frames. But again, any other questions down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos from me. If not, have a good day and hopefully I'll cross you in the verse.